Oh, hello. My name's Austin Hillebrecht, and uh, you might know me from such things as... <laughs> Actually, you've probably never seen any of it. That's okay! <laughs> and I'm Sean Parker, Austin's longtime partner in crime in the world of cinema. So, normally if you'd want to edit a movie, you'd probably have to get a computer, and then some hard drives, lots of them, to store all of your footage, and then you have to get the program. Whether that be Vegas, Premiere, Final Cut Pro X, and it takes up a lot of space, what with the hard drives. And for amateur filmmakers, it gets really expensive. So a recent feature that I worked on with Sean Parker, we uh, wanted to edit it together collaboratively, habit habit and split the workload. Problem was, the two of us already had our own editing setups and had already gotten different software. I had Premiere and he had Final Cut Pro. And we didn't really have any money to buy the other person's software. Technically, we could have made it work if we exported XML files for every scene, but... We would have had to switch. Plus double the hard drive so we could hold all the same material. <laughs> there just wasn't any sort of low-cost, neat solution for our problem. It just ended up with Sean editing the whole movie by himself. And uh, that, 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 took, that took quite a while. And left Sean a, a hollow shell of a man, and now I have to deal with it. In the future, I'd really like to be able to have the option of working in a flexible online collaborative environment. So we asked ourselves, what if there was an editor that stored all of its project files in the cloud, including your media, and then let you load up the files anywhere ever, and allowing multiple people to log in and use it together, simultaneously, at the same time. What if the editor itself were open source, which allowed a rapid development of plugins which could rival or exceed the features seen in today's top editing programs what if what if, what if the editor were built for platform independence which allowed uh, people of different uh, um, why am I, different operating systems what if both the project's media and its rendering could be streamed over the web huh and you could access it from any machine that could uh, connect to the internet no matter how powerful the machine was and without needing a single frame of material stored locally. What if? Eh? What if you could stream your project to a smartphone or tablet? What if you could edit from a smartphone or a tablet? What if you're only interested in such a product if it constantly releases new updates, keeping its tech on the bleeding edge of innovation while never abandoning legacy support? Meaning you never have to worry about old project files being compatible with the newest versions. And what if it was free? So, when we learned that something that addressed all of these questions was being developed, we were pretty flabbergasted. This thing exists. It's called NovaCut. We love NovaCut so much, or at least the idea that we can't express ourselves in just mere words, so we, uh... NovaCut! I think NovaCut has the potential to be the biggest shakeup for the world of editing since the release of Final Cut Pro 1 over 10 years ago. Cloud-based processing is going to allow people who've never had the resources to do professional editing before to finally give it a shot, and to work in a collaborative environment where they can learn how editing works faster than ever. It still has a ways to go, but it's already incorporated some pretty amazing features. This is the future, folks. Project streaming to smartphones, built-in audio synchronization. Flying cars. It's just darn amazing. Where am I going with this? In the same way that Kickstarter revolutionized indie financing, and DSLR video cameras have taken the cinematography world by storm. With your support, NovaCut can and will change post-production. Technology.